I have returned from my eternal slumber because new Cuphead series, let's go. I'm learning a dough, so I felt like making this. My upload schedule was horrendous. I'm trying to do weekly now. And maybe future game development content, because that, that's something I love a lot. But yeah, okay. Uh, on with the video. What is crack a like of my gamers? Today in this video, we got new Cuphead series because the other one was stinky and stuff. So, first things first, let's get a character. Before, I remember we used Pico because he had a walking script. Let's see if there's anyone else with a walking script that we could use. Um, let's use a penguin, sure. Why not? So, just. Size down, okay, so just you want to start the game and size down your character so it's about decent size. So let's just let's try 50%. It may look small on here, but in full screen, it's it looks right. So now we have the character and you want to start him on the left. So drag that here. Let's make a small little platform. Boom, floor, we have floor. So this video is going to be all about the movement and the character. So, we're, we're animations later. So, first you have the character. And we're going to want to make three new variables. Gravity. X. No, no, no. I mean, uh, falling. And speed. Y. So first thing we want to do is just hide them and add a forever block. What we want to do is we want to set gravity to negative one because that makes it fall down because it's just falling down. Because gravity makes you fall down. There's more physics to it, but I don't care. Uh, and make sure this is go to zero zero. What this does when you're drawing a stage is that wherever it's up here matches over there on the game. So, first one thing we want to do is set the gravity to negative one. We also want to set the speed y to zero and uh, falling to zero. Though this is important. First things first, let's just add simple left to right movement with two if blocks. And, and remember, when you're making movement, do not use the when this key pressed. That makes the movement rigid and not fun to play with. You want to have, it, have enough forever blocks so it's nice and smooth. So, you want to add a key. Um, let's use, use the arrow keys. Or, as a PC person, you can also use W, uh, I mean D and A. So, if you want to add both of those movement, then duplicate it. And that will make it a lot more compatible with, with different playing styles. So now that we have that, we just have to fix it up. So we have A, which means left, and left arrow, then D, and right arrow. We want to make a set it changes the X. So since it's going to right, it's positive. Since it's going back, it's negative. Let's check that out. Is that too fast or not? What? What did I do? Oh yeah, and make sure don't use an and. That means you have to press at the same time. Use an or. Simple, oh, simple mistake here. Sorry. Bop, 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 and away with that. Let's test out. Is that too fast, or is that make this negative ten? So it's going backwards, and I flop them. Code better, be more organized than me. And we have that. If you think that's a good speed, then you can continue with it. I personally will slow it down a bit to um, seven and negative seven for a nice middle ground. I think that's good. And next we have gravity. So first you wanna change falling by one forever. And wanna make it if, Touching the ground, which this is, which is going to be the ground. 
that's why we make it like that. If touching ground, then you want to set falling to zero. And what we want to do now is make a block. This will be called fix ground. And make sure you click this button, run without screen refresh. This is very important. So we want to make, and we put the fix ground. And before we entangle that, we want to make it so that forever, we want to change, make sure it's changed, speed Y by gravity, and then change Y by speed Y. What this will do is make it fall down to the ground. We don't want that. That's where this block comes in. Want to make it so that if when you're touching the ground, you want to repeat it, repeat until not touching the ground. Um, and to repeat until not touching ground. So put not over here. Touching ground, which is going to be sorry one. Make sure to name this ground. Change Y by one. And then you want to set the speed Y to zero. Once you're done. Not not in here. Outside. So now it lands on the floor, just like that, and you can move around. Um what does the block do? Well, if you were to remove the block here, then that would happen. You can see that there's a very small when you rise, but because we sit, uh, set run without screen refresh, it doesn't do that. It just automatically pop. Next up, we want to have jumping, which we do if. If we want to fix that right over here, I want to duplicate the ore block. Um, if a key, a barrel or space for some people, then we want to set speed Y to 12. And since that's going to change Y by speed Y, it's going to make it 12. And then it can just fall back down using the grab. Works good, right? Well, the problem is, you can just infinitely hop. And then here comes the falling variable. So falling forever change by one. If we here, let's show it. But when you're touching the floor, it's zero. So what we're gonna do is we wanna put an if block. We wanna put if falling is less than four. Four, um, yeah. Blah, blah, blah. What this makes it is that since um up oh, meant say falling. What this does is that when you're in the air, you can't click it and jump because this is greater. And then when you touch, go back on the floor, it resets, which lets you jump. If you're liking the video, please consider subscribing. It helps out a ton, and I could keep pumping out good content like this for you guys. And um, we have four because it makes it a lot more fluid, and the chance they click it right on four is by the time you're already next to the Okay, so we have the jumping done, we have the moving done. All we need left is for him to turn left and right. This is simple. When you want to start the game, point in this direction 90, which is to the right, and then when you move to the right, point to the right, when you don't move to the right, don't point to the right. Well, this does is turn them upside down because you have to set the rotation style left, right. And here you have a movement system and a base for the new Cuphead game. Thanks for watching this new tutorial that I'm making because I'm now learning Godot and I want to finish the tutorial because I feel bad for not doing the other one. So, um, thanks for watching and bye bye.